Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's been a day? I think it's only been like a day. So, well, we were, uh, between episodes, we got back to the shop again. We, we went, we saved, we came back to the shop. And I went into the journal in the, uh, I'm sorry, we went into the journal in the, um, inventory menu. Or the so inventory, the pause screen. It every day. Whatever you want to call it. And, uh, I noticed there's actually, like, a main quest tree with multiple nodes and everything in different directions. That's really cool. So right now it wants us to find a way to get Miss Carpenter to leave us alone and let us play. We need to get a strike, and we need to go to the Clarkson's Cold Storage and find a place where it's below zero. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. All right, this is probably gonna be a cutscene. So let's let's meet the mirror. The mirror, the mirror on wall. I like that shot. Voodoo chant, smoking. Thou art a seeker, and I see the object of thy desire. He pulls down his pants. <laughs> he is behind the counter. We wouldn't be any the wiser. Doth this be what thou seekest? Yes. How did you know? I could sell it to thee now. And only now. <laughs> Surely fortune <laughs> shall not bless thee these, with another These zooms chance. are killing me. Purchase this and know that thy wishes shall be granted. I want it. That's crazy. Even I can tell you're getting cheated, Agent York. I disagree, Patty. This person can be trusted. <laughs> I've been studying people for quite a while, so I can tell. That figurine is connected to our future. My price is true. What say thee? H how much? Like, what is actually the price of this? Can you tell me, please? 30 bucks? Sure. I bought it. It's a good thing I didn't get fined too much for punching that old lady. Yeah. Thou art a man of refined taste. I am loath to part with it, but twould be a fool's errand to keep it from such a keen-eyed soul. I'm calling right now, by the way, that this guy's faking it. What's wrong with you? I don't think he talks like this, actually. I think he's putting on a show for his shop. Even in the world of uh, Deadly Premonition, I don't think that guy's legit. No normal person would ever buy a piece of junk like that. Not even at a garage sale. Marvelous, isn't it, Zack? What a treasure. I can't wait to use it. Use it? Where? How? Pam. obvious, Patty? <laughs> I was literally thinking about doing that, too. And I'm like, maybe I shouldn't make fun of the video game girl. And then you just go in and go for it, and it's like, okay, sure. Pam. <laughs> in front of Mrs. Carpenter's house. In front of her house? Yes, I'm sure this figurine will stop her right in her tracks. And that'll give us a chance to finally topple the Ten Maidens. Huh. Are you serious? Of course I am. And so is Zack. Aren't you? I'm seriously wondering if I should quit helping you out with this. Okay, well, while we're here, can I buy anything else? All right. Uh, co okay. Yeah, I know. Quest updated. Give me a hundred of them. Okay. Me -lama -ka <laughs> he sounds like he's doing Star Wars job of the hot talk. <laughs> uh, okay. So low. I know, right? <laughs> Much shall serve thee well here. Okay, I just want to know what your charms are, so they can boost us in various ways. Necklaces boost bullet elemental effects. The dolls boost physical abilities. Incense boosts skateboard abilities. Talismans boost uh, performance in mini games. You can create charms and equip them at the altar. Okay, so there is some kind of crafting thing. You can in you can enhance your charms at that's the name of this establishment, I believe. Your own personal voodoo loadout. You can also expand your altar to equip more charms at once. That's kind of cool. 
Okay, so this is some kind of equipment system. Is that the altar on the left there? I can see. Thou yeah. hast discovered the very purpose of my emporium, that is. Okay. Can, can, can I go over there? Is she in the way? Can she move? Oh, no. Oh, did the game freeze? Okay, no, cutscene. Cutscene, okay. <laughs> oh, man. You can never tell with this game. We haven't had a freeze or crash yet, Whoa. but... That's oh, my. Nice. Why is this so bright? Well, look at you. All standing there like you're expecting me to apologize. Huh, it's your fault for not paying attention. Okay, that's the first of the Clarksons we've met. What? Got a moment? Can't say I do. I'm in a hurry here. I won't take up too much of your time. I'd just like to ask you a few questions. I said I'm in a hurry, Pickerwood. Now get out of my way. What does that mean? Is that Pickerwood like is an insult. Patty. Uh, never heard it. That? Kalina Clarkson. PJ Clarkson's second daughter. And Lisa's mother. Zach, we've found ourselves at Clarkson. Oh, no, she's not here. My dolly. She's not here. My dolly isn't here. One of the key persons in this case just came out of the woodwork to meet us. Now things are really getting interesting. Isn't that right, Zach? Okay, so that's the mother of the victim. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, first of all, now that I can walk past her, I would like to go to the altar? No. Okay, I guess I have to do all of this by talking to this guy. Okay, charms. Create, enhance. I will create. Concentration. I guess that's right. Dolls are for bullets. Okay, necessary materials on the right. That's interesting. I don't have enough for anything, do I? No. Doesn't look like it. And if I were to enhance, I don't have any dolls. Okay. Damn. I can see it. Thou hath discovered. Huh. Okay, let's talk to her then. Whoa. This is the first unvoiced text we've ever had in the game, I think. Hmm. Huh. She's looking for a doll. Well, we don't have anything, so I guess we'll uh, just go. Maybe she's referring to her daughter as her dolly? She doesn't seem as insane and grief-stricken as, um... Sorry, what, what was Anna Graham's mother called in the previous game? Sally? Sally? Yeah, Sally yeah, Graham or something. Sally like Graham was, like, completely wrecked by the death of her daughter. This lady is just rude. And I guess, in fairness, did we ever say we were FBI to her? I don't think she knows. Maybe she's heard the rumors. Maybe. Uh, it seems like a lot of people just know by looking at us, which, in fairness, we kind of stand out. And the, the lady at the, the bowling alley was saying that everybody knows everybody, and so it's pretty obvious that we're the new guy. Mm -hmm. Or was it uh, the sheriff who said that? Might have been both, actually. Said something along those lines. Okay, well, we need to go find uh, Miss Carpenter's house. We need to put the doll out front there. Which one of these red quest markers is for that? Also, what is this measurement of distance? Like, seriously, I have 690 what? Kilometers? Meters? Miles? Like, none of these seem to match up. Couldn't possibly just, just be pluck, kilometers. Pluck a random unit of measurement out of the air, and it'd probably be just really funny to think about in that capacity. So, liters. Yeah, because, like, nothing actually makes sense. Okay, so I'm not great with meters, because I'm... Or, sorry, I'm not great with uh, miles, because I'm Canadian. But that couldn't possibly be meters. N they're not miles. They may be yards. Maybe, because it couldn't possibly be kilometers. I'm just looking at, like, the numbers along the top there. That is not nearly... That that number is way too low to be meters. It's right, so we're, way uh, too high to be kilometers. If it was kilometers, that would be, like, hours and hours away. So we're 690 grams away from mission four. Let's 
Fine. Graham as in the King Graham from uh, King's Quest, right? Sure. We could also go for an anagram <laughs> from the original game or Graham, the unit of weight. I want... Oh, side. That's a new category. Create a voodoo charm. Well, we don't have anything to make a voodoo charm yet. Um... Okay, so M16 is not just a gun. I think that is a gun. Uh, it's also her house, so I guess we're going there. So I'm sure there's some kind of fast travel system in the game, but we have not found it yet. It may be those balloons, honestly. It might be. I walked up, I noticed that the balloons are on the map. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, you might not have gotten a good look there. But in front of the building we were just at, there was like a tire pile with some balloons. I couldn't in interact with it between episodes, though. I think there might be one over here to take a look at as well. Yeah, there's one right here. They feel like they would be the fast travel point, right? Yeah. Right here, these things. But maybe when we're later in the story missions, we'll know what those are. Uh, let's drop a save over here, just because uh, I don't trust this game <laughs> at all. I think I rightfully totally don't trust it. Yeah. Now, what I will say, travel around... T oh, my God. <laughs> let's... You did it. Let's try it over here. Um, travel around town feels a lot faster and more convenient than the previous game. I was a little worried that because we're on a skateboard and not a car, that, like, travel's gonna be really slow or the town will be really small. I think the town's bigger and has more to do. This is pretty great, actually. I kind of like traveling around town outside of the horrific frame rate. Just imagine what it'll be like after it's patched. Hey, Zach, it looks like we were right on the money. Tracing the San Rouge distribution route led us right to Louisiana. You know what that means. We've got a hot hand, and Lady Luck's given us far more favor than she ever has before. We just happened to hear news about Lisa's murder Get while hand. sitting Get in a bar hand. during our Get vacation in New Orleans. That certainly wouldn't have happened if we had stayed in D.C. They would have given the case What's to another that in the air? agent, or maybe even to the Oh, uh, that's a mission and objective. never would have found it. In the end, it would have been it? shut up in that vast... No, no, I'm talking about what's on the very the top of the screen, but uh, maybe those uh, are balloons. Yeah. A first-degree murder tag buried in a soggy grave at the bottom of a sea of data. That or kites. That would have been its fate. Instead, it traveled from person to person until it finally fell right into our lap. Things always work out that way for us. We've traveled all over the United States trying to track down San Rouge. We can't let this chance pass us by. Can we, Zach? We need to find some sort of clue before this southern sun melts it all away. I do really like that bit of dialogue. I, I noticed on the right, I had a talk button, and so I pressed it and I got the dialogue. That's awesome. We can, in we can initiate conversations with Zach on our own while we're riding. Here we go, this is our house. Let's steal our mail. That's a good opening move. Mm -hmm. High quality bead. By the way, Patty, what do you usually do when you're at home? Is this an interrogation? Okay, we never finished oh, no. this conversation I earlier. I want to hear this. Since we're working together now, it'd be a good idea to learn a little more about you. Should an adult male like you really be asking a little girl this kind of question? I feel like I heard a story about this sort of thing on the news once. <laughs> There's a time <laughs> the and a place rate. for everything. You know exactly like who I am. Stop and motion. And I also introduced myself to your father. Besides, you're the one who said you wanted to come with me. I was just kidding. Jeez. You're an FBI Jeez. special agent. Why would I ever need to worry? You shouldn't automatically trust someone just because they're an FBI special agent. One's profession and one's personality are completely separate things. For example, one special agent may fall spiritually in love with a genius criminal who enjoys the taste of human flesh. That's Hannibal. You pulled that straight out of a movie. Just because Is that a it's skateboard a film doesn't shop? mean it isn't deeply rooted in reality. You can't um, judge people solely based maybe. on where they work or how they maybe look. Just a, uh, you need to think hard and decide things for yourself. Someone with a hobby of creating skateboards. Maybe we'll find out what she's all about later. So yeah. allow me to ask I, you this. Oh. How do you feel about me? Okay, that's interesting. I, don't know. I only just met you. Oh yeah, this bit. Exactly. Yeah. Now it sounds like you're thinking. You should never feel the need to force an answer out or pretend like you know something you don't. Zach, she's a good kid, isn't she? Honest and straightforward. Oh, wait, there's one thing I can say. Oh, what? When you talk to yourself <laughs> like that, it really creeps me out. God, we got Did far in this before we cut it off. Mm -hmm. Or have you just always done it? Either way, you should stop doing it. 
It's really weird and, like, makes me wince whenever I hear it. Ooh, Zach, did you hear that? No need to worry. Neither of us are weird, I can assure you of that. She's probably just having trouble finding the right word to describe us. No, I think I'll stop there. Wouldn't want her to think we're getting desperate. Like I said, it's really creeping me out. Huh. Maybe we did get to the end of that one. Um, yeah, who's this? This seems to be a shop on the minimap. I cannot interact with you. Uh, Maybe we haven't unlocked the ability to interact with them just yet. Call. Looks like a case of bad timing, Zach. You Let's didn't even back. wait. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I mean, clearly they're right here. Now I'm going to steal from their garbage. <laughs> yes. Low All quality right. plate, that's probably why they threw it out. Probably later in the game we can do something there. I notice there's a save point here. There's a balloon. There's that. Whatever that is, there's her house. This must be an important area. Oh, Jesus. Even when I just run, it just chokes and dies. Okay, place. Bad okay. timing, Zach. What? We need to place the figurine in front of her house when she's home. Otherwise, it'll be useless. Let's Good point. Come back later. I didn't think about that. Okay. I wonder what time we have to come back here. Um, would it say in the gurnal? Uh, between... Ah, uh, we had to do it like in the middle of the night. Okay, well, what, what should we be doing right now? Uh, I guess we could go to M4. M04. We, we can go to the, the Clarkson thingy thing, which is really far away! Time to skate! So when do you think we unlock... Uh, Fast travel. Do you think it's going to be associated mm. with a side quest like in the previous game? That, you know, I wouldn't put it past uh, Sweary for that. Yeah. You know, let's uh, let's do some more Zack conversation while we're riding. So, what do you think of him? Yes, I'm talking about him. Boondock. Is the skeletal gentleman friend or foe? Or does he merely exist outside the realms of either? Still too early to tell. But it's clear that he'll be the key. I like that you're on a perpetual downhill to be able to maintain this speed. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. By the way, Zach, Hoongan feels very familiar to me. You might even say he reminds me of someone. Yes, I think I see the connection now. A cheerful, wise, yet also mysterious African American who appeared in a variety of different films. My mind must be overlapping him with the skeletal gentleman. Do you remember his name? Ah, yes, that's it. John Cena. Scatman Crothers. Oh. In 1980, he played Dick Halloran in The Shining. And in 1983, he was in The Twilight Zone. He played the man who invited all those elderly folks into a strange new world. I knew it, Zack. There's definitely a connection here. But he's a bit too old. Scatman's more of a sage character. Our skeletal gentleman is a little younger, isn't he? Yes. They have different body types, but what about Forrest Whitaker? He made his debut in 1982 in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Then he was in Platoon and The Color of Money, both released in 1986, followed by Good Morning Vietnam in 1987. Oh, and he was in Bird in 1988. What an impressive filmography. That's Across the name. 80s, he transformed his rough, young image into a more cheerful, wiser one. That's why the 80s can also be described as the decade that built up Forrest Whitaker's career. I I'm not sure that's how I'd describe the 80s as a whole. Best actor someday. Yes, I'm sure it's right around the corner. He'll most likely wait until the time is ripe. Maybe around next year, then he'll unleash his best performance yet. Zach, I could go on about famous actors forever, but we have a case to solve here. Let's table this discussion for now. Oh, that was like the perfect length of discussion. Well, I like when that happens. Usually we have to sit around forever. Okay. Perfect timing. Can I can I just rob this real quick? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> just, you know, I figured they'll pay off in the long run. Here we go, Sheriff. Uh, actually... Nah, I'm stocked up. I'm good. Mr. York! That was mighty quick. The special agent does it again. You sure don't waste any time. I, uh, I killed some time eating a sundae and going to a curiosity shop. I bet my CLG's got a lot to learn from you. Uh, uh, by the way, Mr. York, looks to me like you aren't packing anything. 
I was on vacation in New Orleans before I happened to stop by here. <laughs> well, shoot, that won't do. Here, I got something I think you'll like. Ah, oh, that's a gun. <laughs> I call him Mr. Alligator. Badass, ain't he? Badass. That's like some kind of non-lethal toy gun thing, I'm guessing, because it's purple. It's a tranquilizer yeah. gun for the gators. Ah, okay. I was wondering when I was going to get an actual weapon. Non-lethal for self-defense, can only fire rubber bullets. Rubber bullets are not tranquilizers. York doesn't know that. And here's a radio. With this, you won't have to worry about any expensive roaming fees. Okay, is is the radio get, uh, he gave you should come in handy? Is that gonna be the fast travel again? To get used to him, but you'll get it. Try letting him rip a few times. Ain't no need to hold back out here. Okay. Now the unfortunate thing about this is because this game is only on Switch right now, um, I can't use my mouse for shoot, which is yeah. a shame because I always play shooters with mouse. Uh, so my aim is probably going to be just awful. Okay, so ZL to point gun. Aim with the right stick? Okay, yep. sure. Okay, so it must be strafe controls then. That's fine. Yeah, you can strafe with left stick. Okay, okay. Th oh, that's looks like there's an auto aim too. Uh... I saw it. it I, I saw the reticle um, flick downward slightly when you were aiming at uh, Patty. Oh, like it locked onto her. Yeah, that's so hilarious. Maybe again, this maybe against living way. things, it'll have some sort of For targeting. A tranquilizer gun it maybe. Really packs a punch, but I'm afraid I'll decline. After all, this town is peaceful, isn't it? Well, sure is peaceful. At least the humans are, but the animals huh, are a different story. Uh, remember what I named it? There are some real mean ass gators out there in the swamps. And every now and then, they wander into town. One of them even went and ate a kid once. It the happened a long fuck? time ago, but still. That, this is how you make gators sound like the most terrifying thing in the world. Last bit of you. What the fuck? Poor kid's parents didn't even know what to put in his coffin. The worst part is. That taught the gators just how tasty we humans are. <laughs> so now, those suckers just attack on sight. So do the squirrels. Man, yeah, squirrels have had a taste of human flesh too. Tonight, in Blood Swamp. You know he's fibbing, right? Gators don't attack folks. I never heard about no kid getting swallowed by a gator. Actually, Patricia, you're wrong. I'm what? You're Patricia. People. I mean, you're wrong. It could happen in any town. <laughs> huh? Alligator, 1980. Directed by Louis Teague. I'm not sure it could happen in any town. I think it's got to be a town with alligators, to be honest. It takes place in the Midwest, I believe. A teenage girl's pet alligator gets flushed down the toilet. Then, in the sewer, it feeds on the corpses of dogs that were used as test subjects for an experimental growth formula. After growing over 30 feet, it finally starts to go after humans. It's an extremely, yes, an extremely edifying movie. Back when I first saw it, I had a pet hamster. Hey, Agent York, what's your first order of business? Fair. You're in charge now, remember? Well said, Patricia. I nearly lost sight of my true goal. Melvin, I couldn't help but notice my true guardian on the side of that truck. This facility is connected to the victim, isn't it? Uh... Oh. Oh, right. Yeah. I reckon I'd better start from there. I'm gonna tell it to you straight right from the beginning, Mr. York. <gasps> On the next episode, he tells it to us straight right from the beginning, Mr. York. Until next time, have a nice day. Mr. New York.